important coming from you? Will there always be newspapers? And what's the future of journalism? I think in the foreseeable future, um, there will be newspapers. There is something in our DNA that loves reading newspapers, at least people my age. Um, and um, I feel that as long as newspapers continue to innovate and expand online, there is no reason why they would not survive. I mean, I run an entirely paperless um, site, uh, but I subscribe to seven newspapers a day. <laughs> I don't always read them, but I like having them there. <laughs> you do. <laughs> um, and in terms of journalism, you know, the future of journalism is not the same as the future of newspapers. We need to continue to do everything we can to strengthen journalism, not just to make sure it survives, but that it thrives. Because there have been far too many autopsies and not enough biopsies. You know, we need to actually do more to um, foresee what's happening. Paywalls, will they help or hurt? Help no, help? I mean, look at what's happening. Oh, first of all, paywalls won't help the, the newspapers that are, that are using it if they decide to use them, as we saw with the example of the London Times, mm -hmm. where it had a disastrous effect on its circulation. Um, I think it would definitely help half post. You know, if, if other if other media choose to put their content behind paywalls, because consumer habits have changed. You know, people are used to consuming news in a certain way, and does not include paying for it. They want it free, and they want it right away. And also, that's how they've gotten used to it. So you're not going to be able to re-educate um, news consumers. To, to start paying for news. They'll be able to get it in multiple other ways. What's the key to monetization now for HuffPo? Well, the key has always been the same, advertising. Uh, we are profitable now, and it's all entirely because of advertising. Sponsorships, um, not just banner ads and traditional advertising. We're using a lot of social advertising. So um, our strategy has always been advertising. When you look ahead five years from now, I know you're making so many uh, expansions right now, investments. W what do you think Huffington Post will look like? Because you've called the linked economy the future, and you've talked about the future as a hybrid future. What does that mean, Ariana? Well, what I mean by that is that I never saw it as either or. I never saw it print versus online. Uh, I always believed that the future will be hybrid, that um, newspapers will survive provided they can do a great job online and online outlets like the Huffington Post will increasingly hire reporters, uh, traditional reporters. We've hired Howard Feynman as our senior politics editor. We hired Peter Goodman um, as our business editor from the New York Times. So that's what I mean by this convergence. Mm. Um, who are basically of traditional and new of media. Traditional and new media, exactly. And also right now, as we're going through these very difficult economic times mm -hmm. for millions of people in this country, um, the media have a huge responsibility to really bear witness to what's happening, to tell the stories, both the stories of struggle and the stories of overcoming obstacles. And, and that's where we need... Um, the power of new media to tap into s citizen journalists, into people who want to tell their stories.